Greetings world. We are anonymous. So this is the camp that the veterans found about a mile from I-19 in Valencia. And the one thing that's interesting about this, you come over to this area and it's got these covers on top, you know, it looks like cushions and everything. It makes pretty, doesn't look too obvious. People have probably passed it by. I'm about 6'3". Uh, the one thing about it, you have to like duck to get down here and in this area. And it's when these vets came and found that area right there. That's when they thought something was suspicious. Um, the solar lights is what gave it away. Uh, if we wouldn't have been walking on the right trail, we wouldn't have seen it. We would have went right past it. It's right over here. We're going to cut down. Lewis Arthur is from the Veterans on Patrol group. They search washes and bridges looking for homeless vets they can help get off the streets. As part of their search on Tuesday night, they stumbled upon this abandoned camp. And we're right there, and our city's right there, and our children, our children are right there. And it's not my problem if it's in our backyard. Well, now it's in our backyard. This afternoon, we toured the area with Craig Sawyer and Jerry Payton, a former a Navy bit. SEAL and former and Tucson cover. firefighter, to get their thoughts on what this camp may be. I didn't expect to see something this heinous and inhumane this close. Well, I served in the military to keep things like this from happening here. That's why I risked my security to go and, and so that you guys, so nobody back here would have to put up with this. This position here leads me to believe this would be a guard. To these experts in the field of trafficking, this didn't look like your typical homeless camp. We found restraints on trees. I mean, what is this? Hair dye, kids items. This is a crib. Pornographic material and even an outdoor bathroom. A toilet where it looks like they had a bucket. So, so I've heard of, you know, rooms full of kids and houses and basements and, and things like that but nothing uh, underground like this, like, a, like an underground cell. That's pretty creepy. Sawyer says it looked like the last time someone was at this camp about 10 days ago. He believes they could come back. In fact, there's another one nearby that they found that they're already digging with fresh tools and fresh dirt. We were told TPD investigators came out here recently to take photos and write a report. We reached out to the department and have yet to hear back from them. From the southwest side, Kevin Adger, KLD News 13, live local late breaking. Maddie, it looks like it says.